Hey all, Dwarf Lord here. Let's go over Willie's video. Well, he's trying to make amends anyways. Let's listen to this. A while back, I did a video on the state of World of Warcraft Classics era realms, and honestly, I didn't think it looked good. So, seven months ago, Willie was able to predict the future. He said, end of an era, literally. He knew, Psh, end of an era. Well, seven months later, his foot is in his mouth because uh, we're not dead yet. At all. The catalyst for me making the video then was Blizzard closing the character cloning service, which had existed since. So when the cloning service was retiring soon, I made a video saying, hey, clone your characters. Willie makes a video saying, yeah, Era's is dead. Did I log in and play Era and see what's going on with Era? No. Uh, I just assume it's dead. Probably it's dead. Eh, we'll just, we don't have to investigate. So like 300,000 people watch this video. Take that as gospel when it's not actually true. When that video came out, all of us classic Era players are like, the fuck you just say about us? Saying, say, saying that we're dead? Since the launch of these servers, this very much seemed like the final nail in the coffin for a very niche community demand, which just didn't make sense for enough players to want to check out. As the Era Realms themselves were- Vanilla private servers have been around for a long, long time. That niche demand is the reason Blizzard came out with their own authentic vanilla server. There's always going to be a niche demand for vanilla. Why do you think people are crying? When, when Season Mastery 2? When Season Mastery 2? Because they love it. They love it. Niche community. When they first began, got off to a very controversy-ridden start, which left many players not wanting to check them out, whatever happened purely out of principle. So the Classic Era Realms launched shortly before Burning Crusade Classic in early summer 2021. They were a copy-paste of Classic WoW on its final content phase. Blizzard did a snapshot of the game, characters, your gear. I don't quite agree with that. The way, the way I see it, and it's a semantics thing, is that... Classic era, those servers have been around since 2019, and they've just been there. Then they made a new server, Burning Crusade, and you had an option to leave Classic and go to Burning Crusade server, or you had the option to just say, no, I'm going to stay here on Classic era. Classic forever. That's how I see it, because Classic is the original. You know, it's not... A, the, it's not the imitation. Burning Crusade is like the imitation. That's the new thing. It's not like you are staying on Burning Crusade and if you want, you can leave and go back to this new copy paste. No. Classic era is, is from 2019. Everything that made up the WoW servers back then and copied it over to a new place on the Battle.net launcher. Whilst the live game of Classic would continue onwards to TBC and beyond, Vanilla would remain here. This also presented the- Those Burning Crusade mounts just look stupid. They just look stupid. The player base with a choice. Where do you want your character to go? You could either do nothing and you will be moved through the dark portal into TBC or opt into remaining on these classic era realms instead. Or there was a third option. What if you wanted to do both? You want that classic character to go back to but you also want to play the Burning Crusade. Sounds pretty reasonable right? Well of course you could do this but it's gonna cost you money and this was the first big problem Era Realms faced from the get-go. Do you remember how much the price of copying your character to the Era Realms were? It was $35. Yes. Th Absolutely. I mean, that's egregious, and that's one of the reasons why Classic Era had a really rough start, which Willie talked about. Let's just skip forward a bit, because... Uh... So people here complaining about the redonkulous price, and then eventually uh, they get lowered to 15 dollars per which is still is a little bit much if people have multiple characters but eventually it got reduced down to five dollars and that's when uh, i made the video to 
have people are going to be transferring these servers. Five, five bucks. And a cost and a lot of front did. is a very effective way to do that. In May of 2022, one month before this cloning service this was removed from about. the shop, Blizzard dropped the price down to $5. And you might have even not known about that. In fact, if I wasn't doing videos on Classic, I don't think I would have known about it. It felt... If you watched my video, you would have known about it. Unfortunately, not everyone did. And to this day, I continue to have people uh, comment on that video saying, oh, can I clone? It's like, no, dude. The deadline was, I think it was like July. It's like July 24th. Judgment Day. Literally use the Terminator uh, Judgment Day scene. Because, uh, yeah, they're, they're, all those characters got <laughs> deleted. Gonzo. Zilch. Nada. And... Uh, I, I, tried to, I tried to warn you, I tried to warn you. Like a very brief announcement. And now this character cloning service is gone. So why was it such a big deal? It's pretty simple, really. If you did ever want to go back onto Classic Era, it would give you your level 60 character to play, presumably with solid gear, straight away. Your alternative to this will be going back to your starter zone and creating a level 1. A lot of people are doing that. They... They miss the cloning, and what are they doing? They're leveling new characters up, so uh, that's awesome. A lot of people are leveling. There's leveling guilds on Classic Era, so if you're interested, hop on and start leveling a character if you missed out on the cloning. You know, if you're Grand Marshal, uh, Scarab Mount, Atiesh, Thunder Fury, wielding character, full bis got deleted because you thought no one was playing the game, yeah, just... Do it all over again. Well, minus the scare amount, because you can't get that again. Core that are unpopular are going to die or are dead. I mean, WoW's been dying for nearly 20 years, and here we are. Didn't see how things would pick up. Surely, there would be no coming back from this. Yeah, so if you want to play uh, Classic, play Classic. I mean, we're not going to go through the rest of this video. He, he just keeps kind of saying the same stuff. Oh, this guy looks so ugly. So ugly. Play, play a dwarf, not a, a dopey human. Yeah, so basically, uh, if you want to play, play. Log on in. On North America, White Main is where I play. Mancrick is also an awesome server. There's more population on Mancrick. However, you could also argue that the more skilled players are on White Main. Because <laughs> that's where I am. I bring the average skill up of that server. I like to think. And then if you're on EU, Fire Maw and Pyrewood Village are your, uh, your cluster choices. Hop on in, check out my stream, and see what Classic is all about. A lot of people are coming back. They're saying, oh, I'm bored of Wrath. Of course you're bored of Wrath. I mean, what are, the, what are you going to do in Wrath? Alduar just came out and people are bored of Wrath, and they're coming back to Classic. Sure, people are still enjoying Wrath. If you enjoy it, continue to do so. But if you don't, come back to Classic. It's what a lot of people are doing. So that's where we're at. Water's warm. Come on in. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please comment and subscribe. And I would love to chat with you. I'm streaming now most evenings on YouTube Live here right on this channel. So pop in and say hello. Dwarf Lord out.